Hello and welcome to this live IntelliCorp webinar titled How to Change SAP Applications Faster and Safer Using Live Compare. My name is Emma Dowie, our Marketing Manager at IntelliCorp and I will be your host today. With me on the call is Mike Petanella, our Sales Manager, and he will be taking you through a short introduction to Live Compare. Uh, Tim Gerard, our senior application engineer, will then be demoing Live Compare and the Impact app um, live. So, just a couple of housekeeping points before we get started. All the lines are muted today. If you have any questions, please submit them to me using the chat panel. We will try and answer as many questions as possible at the end. If we don't get to your question, then we'll follow up uh, by email afterwards. And we'll be recording the session today, so we'll send out the recording after. And with that, I shall hand it over to Mike. Thank you, Emma. I appreciate it. Um, my name is uh, Mike Patinella. I am the Director of North American Sales uh, for IntelliCorp. Uh, thank you, everyone, for joining our latest webinar on our Live Compare software, uh, Smart Impact Analysis and Testing for SAP Applications. Uh, in this session, we'll be showcasing Live Compare's Smart Impact Analysis and its seamless integration with HP ALM. Uh, to reduce SAP testing up to 85%. Uh, companies are continuously fighting for ways to drive down their cost of SAP ownership. Uh, CIOs and other senior execs are faced with the tough challenge to try and do more for less. They're constantly asking themselves questions like, how can we deploy changes to SAP faster, better, and safer? And as a part of this epidemic uh, to reduce SAP costs, uh, there's been a huge push among enterprises across the globe to adopt a more agile development practice. And the common trend that we're seeing uh, among these organizations is they're leaning heavily on innovative technology as the backbone of their overall agile strategy. Changes to SAP come in all shapes, forms, and sizes and the volume and the frequency of these changes is dramatically increasing. On the one side, you have your day-to-day -day operational changes, and on the other, you have your project-related changes. The number one challenge in all of this is how do you determine what will be impacted, and how do you determine what you need to test? The fact of the matter is nobody truly has the answer to these questions. And so what companies have been forced to do is adopt sort of this traditional approach of test everything, uh, or even worse, guest test. The problem with the test everything approach is it's old fashioned, uh, and it certainly doesn't work if your organization is looking to adopt a more agile change management process. And this is where our live compare software uh, comes into play. Live Compare is a robust analytical tool uh, that queries your SAP systems on demand, delivering real-time analytics and actionable insights that greatly help with the day-to-day -day, uh, production support and SAP projects. Live Compare produces interactive dashboards uh, and detailed reports that give your SAP experts the information and the data they need to do their jobs better, faster, and safer. Live Compare comes equipped with a mature library of over 200 pre-configured analytical apps that can be used immediately in any custom SAP environment. Sticking to today's topic of discussion, uh, Tim is actually going to demo one of our pre-packaged apps called Impact. This app is designed to tell you what will be impacted and what you need to test whenever you introduce a change into SAP. This is one of the more popular apps that our customers use, and is typically used on a transactional-based system like ECC. At the top of your screen, you'll notice that Live Compare has a full suite of change impact apps that stretch across a broad spectrum of SAP modules and focus areas. However, in the interest of time today, we'll leave those apps for another discussion. Live Compare's Impact app is the solution that will allow your organization to truly adopt an agile development practice. Impact is the smart technology that will preemptively alert you of what will be impacted and pinpoints precisely what you need to test anytime you make a change. 
Whether you're applying this week's bundle of transports or rolling out this quarter's major release or performing this year's EHP8 upgrade, Impact gives your SAP experts the visibility they need to roll out these changes faster, better, and safer. Our customers are literally embedding this technology into their overall change management process. Think of your routine roundtable change release meetings when you're discussing what objects <clears throat> that you're changing and what transports that you're putting in. You can literally execute impact during that meeting, <clears throat> and by the end of that session, you should have your test scope results. Furthermore, we have customers that are integrating impact with their transport management tools, such as Charm or RevTrack, for an even more automated solution. Precision and accurate testing is what you get with impact. It is a scientific, fact-based analysis that does not rely on a knowledge base, and it is not done in a simulated environment. It performs live in your own custom SAP environment, analyzing the changing objects and studying the dependency chain linkages in real time, giving you the most accurate results on demand. So what I wanted to do now was hand it over to Tim to actually get into a live demo of Impact. Well, thanks a lot, Mike. Um, when we talk when we talk about impact, that can mean a lot of different things to a lot of different people. And like like Mike mentioned, live compare impact can, can su support many scenarios. Whether you're changing a single object and you want to know what in production is going to be impacted by changing this object, even before you change it, you can run impact to get that type of analysis. Mike also mentioned emergency fixes, weekly bundles, project bundles support pack upgrades, and business functions. We can also find T codes, programs, your business server pages, Fiori, WAPA apps that are going to invoke those changes, as well as security roles, BW queries, cubes, and areas, HR schemas like payroll and time, and iDocs. For today's demo, I'll be showing results from a support pack upgrade and how it impacts use transactions and programs in production. I also want to note that a lot of our customers are going through an upgrade right now to our latest 3.6. Live Compare 3.6 runs on Internet Explorer, Chrome, Safari, Firefox, on your PC or Mac, tablet or phone. Today I'll be on the PC and I'll launch Chrome. But it's also key to note that Live Compare looks great on your tablets and your smartphones. And like Mike said, picture yourself in that roundtable change management meeting. And, you know, maybe you're going to change a BOPI or some kind of function or user exit. Wouldn't it be nice to know real time what in production will be impacted by that change? So let's go ahead and jump right into the Live Compare. The first thing you notice when you log into Live Compare is you'll have a home screen. And within that home screen are all of our apps. Now we have dozens of pre built apps that you can run. And a lot of folks ask, well, how long does it take to implement this tool, Live Compare? We like to say run and done in less than a day. So you can get this up and started and, and running these apps in, in one day. To install an app to your home screen, simply just click the green install button. And when you see that uh, green badge, that means that app is now on your home screen. Today's focus will be on impact. And if we look at the, the impact app, we'll, we'll also notice that we can now embed videos. Now these videos can be tutorials on how to run the app or helpful tips on how to, you know, interpret the results and roll it out. So uh, expect to see a lot of these videos uh, to help guide you through your, your, your use cases in, in Live Compare. Okay, let's get to our home screen and into our demo. So here's the impact. I pre-ran pre some of these analysis uh, before today's meeting so we can uh, drill down into the results. But the first thing you'll notice on the, on the left-hand side are your variants. Now I ran uh, live compare impact on a support pack upgrade. But like Mike mentioned, you can run it on emergency fixes, uh, business functions, a single object, uh, or charm IDs. To run impact, click on your variant. Um, pick a system. Your analysis system will be the system that contains the support pack. And it doesn't have to be fully released. It just has to be in the disassembled state for live compare to read the, uh, the objects. The next parameter you see is a drop-down for your performance history system. This will be production. 
we'll, we'll need to ping production to find all of your used transactions, programs, uh, WAPA objects, um, and if you're if you're doing roles and secure in uh, security, uh, BW objects, and so on. But a, a call to production lets us analyze, you know, and focus on things that you're using in production. Some of our customers will want to compare the changing objects, and if you want to compare the changing objects. Uh, you can pick a target system to compare it against, and that can be production as well, because the changes will be, again, in your analysis system that has a support pack, and it won't be in your, your production or target systems. And if you're using impact for charms, select the solution manager system here. Uh, for this demo, I pasted in 219 support packs. These are the support packs that support our um, enhancement pack 7 upgrade. So you'll need a, a spreadsheet list of these support packs, and you can just copy and paste them in here. And we have a widget switch here that asks, do you want to compare the changing objects? If, if you just want to see the transactions that you want to test, uh, click no. But if you're one of the types of customers that want to drill down into the changing objects and see the exact line of code that's changed, you can click yes and get that comparison. The next three parameters relate to um, HP ALM. Um, so picture, you know, you, you run impact analysis and we find all of these uh, transactions that are, are really critical to test. Wouldn't it be nice to then scan all of your test assets in ALM and find all the associated test plan IDs that contain the transactions that are impacted? So that's what this tool does automatically out of the box. You pick a, a a project that you want to uh, to read, and I have my golden project here. And within that project, you may want to narrow down a specific path or a folder. Say there are you know three or four uh, folders within that uh, project, and really only one of them is relevant for your master test. You can uh, define that here. And this last parameter, do you want to create the test lab? You can click yes, and we'll automatically take all those impacted. Uh, test plan IDs and drop them right into the test test lab automatically for you and organize them by a tam, uh, timestamp folder. And then here we can distribute the results. Now doing something like an analysis of 219 support packs, oftentimes contain over half a million changed objects. That could run, you know, half hour or a few hours. So you can have live compare notify you when the analysis is complete and it will email you the results or your team's results here. So I pre-ran this analysis. Um, before I go into the results, I just want to um, touch on one thing for our, our customers going from 3.5 to 3.6. You'll notice this little padlock here. If you want to share your variant throughout your team, you can click unlock, and then whatever you do for a variant uh, can then be shared across the team. Uh, before in 3.5 and earlier versions, Every variant was uh, local to your own um, your own user session. So let's drill down into the results. The first thing you notice here are some graphs, some high level graphs. Okay, what are we using in production? About 1,271 standard executables and 884 custom. Of those, how many are impacted? So we can see the um, the graph is the, the bar chart is going down, right? So your impacted is less, and then you have your most at risk, your key set of executables to test. At this point, a lot of customers ask, well, how are you determining uh, your most at risk um, transactions to test? And we have a formula in the background that looks at um, that your transactions and how are they invoking the objects. Say SAP change is a very popular um, user exit or BOPI, or say a table like T001W for plants. Think of all of those hundreds of used executables that can invoke those objects. So this most at risk algorithm will find the best transaction, the most business critical transaction that invokes that object at the shortest depth, meaning that it's going to interact with that object uh, much more frequently, much more likely than other uh, transactions. So instead of continuously invoking these change objects through a whole series of transactions, this most at risk algorithm finds the best set of business critical, highly used transactions that most directly invoke those changing objects. So whether you test those most at risk transactions or all of the impacted, 
you're invoking the same changing objects. It's just that with Lab Compare's most at-risk algorithm, you can be assured that you're invoking all of the changed objects with your best, most business-critical transaction set. And this is how uh, we're, we are saving our customers 85% uh, on average time from going from a full regression test to just focus on those most at-risk transactions. And keep in mind, you can drill down into any one of these uh, categories. If you want to see uh, everything that's impacted, you can see that. If you want to just see the custom most at risk, there's 120 there, you can drill down into the, that category too. The next graph is the most at risk test hits and gaps. So we take those 624 executables and we scan your ALM project and we look for all the related um, test assets, your test plan IDs. And um, there were 221 hits, meaning that you had 221 tests that contained the impacted uh, transaction, and 403 gaps, meaning that when we scan all of the fields in uh, your design steps and everything else in ALM, we could not find any mention of the impacted T code. Now that 403, those gaps, that's usually a great starting point to sit with your, your folks who, who maintain your test assets and say, listen, these are highly used business critical transactions. They're impacted this week on this project or, or, or support stack uh, project. Um, maybe these are good candidates to, to use next or prioritize as, as next rounds of, of, of test asset creations. The next graph down are the changes by object type. So these are all the objects contained in those 219 support packs that are invoked by your used transactions. At the top of the list, we see over 2,600 data elements, over 2,300 functions, over 1,400 tables and includes, and so on. So it's Live Compare's job to find the best transaction set to cut that call into all these changing objects. And that's just what we do with these details. When you click this link here, it opens a Excel file. Now this Excel file report is self-contained and it's complete. Um, you have the dashboard and you have details and everything in between meaning you can send this uh, report, it's a link, you can send it um, through an email to the team, you can save it on SharePoint, it's a self-contained full report that answers the questions uh, and, and helps you scope uh, and manage your, your, your project. So it's the same graph we see up top and links to the, the actual details. Um, but let me take you through all of the, uh, the tabs here. The first tab is that dashboard, uh, second we have the help, the help will guide you through all of the different sheets and columns in the report. Uh, system info, uh, your analysis system, your performance history system, you know, how many months of data were collected, how many objects were analyzed. Um, and then let's get that into the actual, uh, the meat of the report. Um, this is your used, impacted, and most at risk um, re report within, within this uh, uh, template workbook. The first column is your, your app area and you can filter by the, the app areas that you care the most about. So if we take, for example, asset accounting, we see the next column over, it's a T code that we're using called AFAB for posting depreciation, and it's most at risk. It's used 614 times in production by three different users. And the top user is Bob Weir. Bob Weir is executing this transaction 178 times, or about a third of the 600 times in total. So he's the best person to go to um, if you have questions about, you know, how to test this, this transaction. It's most at risk. It's used quite often. Um, you can filter by custom and by uh, business critical. This business critical column uh, integrates with um, ALM. If you look at your test plan and you drill down into one of your test plans, you'll see a business criticality field there with the drop down A, B, and C. So your business critical most at risk transactions will be A, your most at risk transactions will be B, um, your impacted transactions will be C, and if you're just using a transaction that's not impacted, it'll be, it'll be blank there. So our, our, our tool has these, these, these smart connections to your testing environments. Okay, so that's, the, that's a very popular um, used, impacted, and most at risk. You can, uh, you know, filter by just show me everything that's most at risk and that's custom and an application area that, that you care about. There's many different uh, ways to use this, um, this sheet here. Now getting into the details, if we take that same transaction or uh, let's see any transaction here.
There it is. Um, here's our AFAB. Now we get into the details of why do we need to test it? It's used 614 times in production, and at a depth of two, it's changing and changing, it's calling this changed program. That's coming in in support pack, ending in FIN. So if you want to see how that object is changing, you just click on the link here, and you get a real-time side-by-side code comparison of, of the differences, and a really nice-looking code uh, comparing uh, tool here. We can see there's 37 inserts and seven differences within the code, and you can easily navigate through those uh, differences with these two icons. So if you want to actually drill down to the differences, that's a, that's a good, good way to do that. Extras, if you're introducing any new transactions in your, um, uh, maybe your uh, transport set, your hits and gaps, these are all the T codes that contain hits and gaps in ALM and details behind that. So for example, I filtered here by VA01, it was a most at risk transaction. Here are the four test plan IDs that I'll need to uh, test in, in um, ALM. And speaking of ALM, when we create that test, test lab, it's automated. If you click yes on, your, um, on the app, and you'll see a, let me cancel that, test lab. Okay, so you'll see you have a folder here that's automatically populated based on the impact. Okay, just a few more items. I'm gonna go back into the app and then hand it back over to Mike. But before I do that, I just wanna note that um, you'll see a lot of parameters here in the, in the app out of, out of the box. If your analysis system, your performance history system are always gonna be the same systems, you can lock and hide away these icons or, the, or these parameters. And that should cause a little bit, you know, less confusion with the team when you're rolling out the app. And I have an example of that on my home screen here, called Charm Only. So here's a user whose um, all the systems are always, always going to be the same for a performance history and analysis system. The only thing that they're going to copy and paste in are, are Charm, Charm request um, CR numbers. So you can paste that in here and run your analysis. It's very easy um, and, and it's very quick. Uh, with that, I would like to hand it back over to Mike. Uh, Emma, are you able to get me back to the slide? Sorry. Let me check. Hang on. You should be all set. All right, just to uh, summarize what, um, you know, our discussion today, um, Live Compare's impact app it's, uh, allows you to reduce your testing scope up to 85%, really to an adopt an agile approach to uh, change management. Um, it's a great tool um, that you can deploy, uh, fully deploy, implement in your environment in less than a day. Um, there are no prerequisite work needed to, um, you know, to implement the tool. It's a real-time fact-based reporting. It supports all the SAP applications out there, um, BW, CRM, HCM, and so forth. Uh, Impact will integrate with uh, transport management solutions like uh, Charm and, and RevTrack and, and things like that. And it also integrates with uh, test management tools uh, such as HPALM, as you saw today, uh, as well as some others that are out there. Um, and the nice thing about Live Compare is it's um, it's all app driven, so you can utilize uh, this on your any device, uh, anytime, anywhere. With that, I'm going to hand it back to Emma, and uh, we'll open it up to questions. Okay, thanks, Mike. Um, so we have quite a few questions come through. Um, one of them I'll start with. So to Tim. Um, is a question about instead of connecting to production, could impact look at data gathered in solution manager DPL? Well, our rule of thumb is if the data is anywhere in SAP and readable, maybe it's stored in the table, um, the answer is yes. Live Compare through its actions can read uh, and store that data um, in, on the Live Compare server. Uh, another note, another note of, about that, um, by default, you know, a lot of folks will, will um, have their usage data in, in production, ECC, 
And their ST03, their performance history settings, are usually three months, the defaults to three months. Um, on day one, when you install Live Compare, it obtains those three months, stores them on the Live Compare server. And then every month going forward adds to those three months. Um, a lot of our customers have a rolling 36 months. Um, so when you're looking at impacted transactions, you, you, you definitely want to have a full year. You want to understand your year-end transactions that are impacted, um, as well as, you know, things that maybe are used outside of that time frame as well. Uh, so the answer is, uh, is yes, Live Compare can, can read and store uh, usage information in multiple ways on the Live Compare web server. Okay, thanks, Tim. Next question is, from which version uh, of Live Compare can we integrate with HP ALM? So perhaps a question from a customer. 11, 11.5, 12, and uh, 12. I think twelve one now or twelve two. So um, from eleven to twelve plus. Okay. So another question I have come through is: How does Live Compare actually find the tests in Quality Center? When we determine your most at risk executables that you should absolutely test, we then take those uh, transactions. We do let's say a match query on uh, the test assets in ALM. And we can search specific projects, specific folders, and fields. Um, by default, I think we take seven or eight really popular fields in which you would store uh, transactions information, like design steps and other description uh, fields. But there are a number of uh, user fields that are, are um, basically there for you to, to configure. And uh, Live Compare can inter inter integrate with those user fields, uh, both standard and custom. Okay, thanks, Tim. So another question, we have quite a few coming through. So if I, we don't get through to your question today, then um, we will follow up via email. So does it help in resolving SPAW and SPDD? Well, you still want to run those. Those are great SAP tools. Um, to understand, you know, what you've customized and what's coming in in support packs. Um, what's good about Lab Compare Impact Analysis is whether you've customized or modified an object uh, or not, Lab Compare still finds your custom code that calls into that. So, you know, I didn't show it during the demo, but a very popular way to use the results is to look at all of your custom code that directly calls changing objects at a depth of one, a direct hit on that code. Um, so say you have, you know, ZBA01 calling uh, BOPI123. Now, you've never modified or, or configured or changed that object in any way, but it's still changing in a support pack. And the way your custom code interacts with that, that standard object uh, is very critical. It needs to be tested uh, because if you're calling into a line of code or some kind of attribute that's changed, that's where your ABOP failures and short jumps can happen in, in production. So, you, so uh, in short, you still want to use your, your standard SAP tools like SPAW and SPUD, get those reports. Those are great reports. But on top of that, you know, run impact analysis to get a full list of things you absolutely should test before promoting that support stack into production. Okay, thanks, Tim. So a couple more questions, and then we'll finish off because it's half six. Uh, well, half is ten. <laughs> I'm in the UK. Um, but how do you determine what's used in production? Used in production, uh, we, we read your performance history data. Um, so I touched on a lot of folks will save three months, uh, and Lab Compare will uh, take those three months and, and add to them uh, month after month of, of used data. As well as, uh, like the first question, if you store it in Solution Manager and, or BW in some kind of uh, cube or, or, or some kind of repository, uh, if it's readable, Lab Compare can absolutely um, uh, read it and store it on the Lab Compare on the Live Compare server. Okay, thanks, Tim. And it's just past half the hour now. So one final question, and then we'll close up for today. Um, I've put the, uh, our emails here, so if you do have any more questions or want to get in touch, then please reach out to us. We're also on all the um, you know, popular social media channels. You can, you can find us there. But one final question is, what's the amount of usage data uh, we need to collect? How much do we need? I would say at minimum, you definitely want a month, and you know that's that's just that's just getting by. Um, you know, kind of a need to have 
um, a nice to have is you want that, that 12 months so you understand your year end reports and everything else. Um, but a lot of time when, we, when we're first engaging with customers during a proof of concept, uh, we'll, we'll set up that uh, live compare web server. We'll get those three months. Um, we'll do the proof of concept and by, you know, as the months go by, you'll start to see more and more added to that, that list. And even though you only have three months in, in production in your ECC environment, um, you'll have over a year as the years go by in, in live compare. And which is going to be very helpful for other analysis that we do, uh, thinking about like unused custom code. You know, it's one thing if it's unused in three months, right, from your standard SAP uh, setting. But think about what if it's unused in three years? Then you really can be sure you can sunset that code. Um, so, you know, like Mike mentioned, there's a lot of live compared deliverables. We touched on just one flavor of many flavors of impact analysis. But we also have a, a, a suite of tools that can help with your custom code. Um, what custom code has been cloned that can revert back to original. What custom code you can sunset because you haven't used it in a long period of time. What is the quality of your custom code? Are you still using uh, popular 4.6c and 4.7 syntax? And you're migrating to HANA and you're concerned about certain database calls and other, other issues. So let Live Compare analyze your used custom code, your unused custom code for a variety of, of, of really important deliverables. Okay, thanks, Tim. So we're out of time now, um, I'm afraid, and I, I know we've got quite a few more questions to get through, but um, I promise we will follow up via email, so we'll reach out to you um, straight afterwards, and we'll send you the recording, and we'll send you the slides as well. If you have any final questions or anything you think of after the demo, then please get in touch. The emails are on screen there, or you can find us um, at intellicorp.com online um, and contact us there. So I'll leave this open for a couple more minutes. You can take down the email addresses if you need, um, or submit any more questions in the chat, and we will get back to you. Thanks very much, Tim. Thanks very much, Mike, and um, we'll speak soon.